I've got a feeling that Paul Heyman's the one that's going to bring everyone together. It's fun. Boring. It's done, da yeah. Damien, done. Damien Priest as champion, like I didn't want him to win this number one contender. You know who should have won it? Sort of like the Damien where he held it for long and I think that could be yeah. going down that road. Maybe not because we know Nia Jax is going to lose it to her. Yeah. A lot so of, I think Survivor Series is when she has the to rest lose it. Is Miz a part of the White Six now? Because I think that's when Xavier Ward's uh, backstabs Big E and uh, what's that, Kofi Kingston. Does yeah. Cody come in the mix? Is he in the triple threat with Owens and, uh, and Randy right. Orton? Or Yo, what's happening, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Touchline Podcast, Wrestle Talk Edition. If you're using new here, please smash the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to our channel. Comment, comment down below. <laughs> Sound like an American. Comment, comment, comment down below. Comment, 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 comment. Comment. <laughs> Wait, there's a comment coming. Comment down below. <laughs> subscribe. 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 Well, yeah. Uh, welcome back to another Wrestle Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Wrestle Talk. Um, it's been a while. We're going to recap today. Um, Everything. Crown Jewel, WWE, Crown Raw, Jewel, WWE Raw, uh, Raw just happened today. Um, let's talk about Crown Jewel first. Yeah, Crown yeah. Jewel Saudi Arabia, man. The the yearly Crown Jewel show. What do you think of the show as a whole? Uh, not the best. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't move any storylines. Yeah. I only moved one storyline. The Sami Zayn. It was only yeah. the, the bloodline Blood storyline. Yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah. else was well, pretty... Let's talk about that, uh, the bloodline. Um, so yeah, uh, the new bloodline, of course, uh, defeated. Well, actually, Solo pin Roman. A few people had their um, problems with that. You it know, needed to happen. Roman. Let's talk about that. For, it needed to happen. Yeah, it yeah. To. yeah but bro, for this blood, this new bloodline 2.0 yeah. to be as successful, to be as intimidating as they have been portrayed to be, they, they had to pin the original Tribal Chief. Yeah. Had to, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, bro, like, uh, with with Solo pinning Roman, it's only going to further, you know, add substance to the storyline yeah. leading up to War Games. And, yeah, man, I feel like it was very neat. Like, had it gone the other way, you would have just thrown everything they've been doing since WrestleMania out the window. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, like, <clears throat> it, it showed that the bloodline won. And especially since Jay Uso didn't walk out with... Jimmy and Roman at yeah, the start. Yeah, yeah. So you can really tell there's tensions and there's still tensions now. Yeah. Yeah. So if Roman had pinned Solo, like it it or doesn't add everything. up. It doesn't add up. No, it yeah. just, with him losing, it adds up because yeah. there's still friction in the family. Yeah. So what did you think about it, boys? Um, bro, I, was so, like, I was so surprised because when I woke up 4 a.m. watching it, they just put it as the start of the... Um, Start of the show, I'm like, I thought they'll probably leave it to the end of the yeah, show. Yeah, but because why? I know they had the Crown yeah. Jewel Championship title matches for Liv Morgan and uh, yeah. Nia well, Jackson, Cody Rhodes, and Gunter, but it just felt short. Like the match went super quick. Like <laughs> yeah. it only went for like what seven yeah, to eight the, minutes. But the storytelling, no, I know, the was story something. I think it, with this match, it was more about the storytelling than the yeah. actual match because we know we're going to get a banger of the ma of at a match series. at Survivor yeah. Series at War Games. So yeah. if we Tell a story where we're still portraying the friction in the original bloodline. Yeah. I think it you get more out of it than a, a five star match because we saw Roman. Uh, we, we saw uh, Jay not wanting to tag Roman yeah, and, then, yeah. and then tag Jimmy because they still got attention between so, each other. Yeah. So they, they, they're stalling in a way. They're stalling. <coughs> they, they, they're taking minutes out of their match for that and story it doesn't to feel unfold. Like a, it doesn't feel like the bloodline yet because yeah, it yeah. just feel like individuals, not as a group. So exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sa yeah. Sami Zayn. I, I was expecting him actually when he. Went into the ring for him to betray Jay after what he said on Monday Night Raw about him not being family. And oh, to be, I think in a way, like of course I wanted, I want the OG back, the OG Bloodline. But it would have been interesting to see if Sami Zayn did turn on him. Like what storyline they could have at produced Crown Jewel? at Crown Jewel. Yeah. Like what they could have produced after that, and how they can link it back together. Nah, it's but better. Yeah. I actually liked everything that happened. Yeah. Like even the way he Haluva kicked Roman Reigns yeah. by, by yeah. accident. Was, by accident. <laughs> was it really by accident? Because I know what happened on Raw and whatever, but like by, the, by ju judging the way he walked out of the ring and the way like he wasn't very remorseful about yeah, it. Yeah. So like, yeah, I feel like in a way he, he enjoyed Didn't, it. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that, that's really much you could take from that bloodline storyline. Uh, but we, we didn't. Get, I didn't get your thoughts about because I know I know you didn't like how Roman got pinned by Solo. But what do you what are your boys' take on it? I think it's fine. That but I just feel you think it's better for the storyline, or it, you think Roman should have pinned Solo? No, Solo should have pinned uh, like Roman. Roman, yeah, yeah. Because he's the new tribal chief. Yeah, yeah. He's the dominant one. 
Roman needs to get back to where he the is. The way he was, yeah. And yeah, it just makes the storyline be better, like you said, for Survivor Series. Because yeah. as we know, Survivor Series, he's gonna be win they're going to be winning a doji. Yeah, of course. Mind. Well, on that quick, before we move on to the other crown jewel, it's right to bring up what happened on Monday Night Raw with Sami Zayn and Jay and Jimmy Uso. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they had their, their moment. Um, Jay Uso coming out and saying that, you know, he's Sami Uso. He's part of the family. Not by blood, but again, he's part of the family. And yeah. um, Jimmy was calling out Sami for him betraying you know the, the family and Sami Zayn came up and saying I'm the one that betrayed the family but you're the one that attacked Roman attacked your own brother and attacked me yeah so again it, it, it's just showing the, the tension the, the tension that's happening with this whole original bloodline thing but again it's going to come to a point where they all come to the same page but I just don't know when that will happen you know I've got a feeling that Paul Heyman's the one that's going to bring everyone together nah you, you don't uh, well, well, for you, both, uh, uh, no, the wise to man. see the wise man will come and bring everyone together could like, happen there, there's yeah. tension around and I feel like they're not just going to solve it themselves yeah. I think that has to be like a mediator there to but solve not, everything yeah you might you might, might not and be I wrong there Paul Heyman's probably the only answer right now yep. I, I always say that I feel Paul Heyman comes with the rock not for good I think rock's going to like have him in a way, hold hostage. Yeah, probably, probably. I think so. I just yeah, think that's yeah. the only way he comes if, back. If Paul Heyman's going to come back, he's going to come back in a creative way, the yeah. Paul Heyman way. Yeah, Paul yeah. Heyman's just not going to show up and be yeah, like, you know, out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. But like, I, I don't think it's going to get solved by Friday night. Nah, no, I don't on, think so. On Friday night, SmackDown. Survivor Series November 30th. So they got about, yeah. they got about month, yeah. seven yeah. shows left. Yeah, that's to right. Survivor, Survivor Series. So including Raw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but the way it's unfolding now, yeah. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. Let me tell you, there's yeah. nothing. Nothing's been it's happening gonna, on Raw. Yeah. Sami gonna be on SmackDown this week. Yeah, he will so be. Roman but will be there. And it's gonna take some time um, to build the storyline up, but it's gonna get better. I know yeah, it's yeah. gonna get I better. I don't think this week. I don't <clears> think Roman's gonna forgive him. No, no, he won't. He won't. This week, he won't. I think there's gonna yeah. be still tension. But like, uh, I know it's just, just a storyline. But like, surely Roman thinks like it was an accident. Yeah, like, like, sure. like, maybe, yeah. Surely he would have reviewed the footage and whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. surely he's not they hard felt about that. Bit, yeah, because they were all in one corner each because they were trying to attack Solo. But then, as soon as when Reigns was going for the spear, that's when Sami Zayn gave him the Halumi kick. Can we, can we talk about the match that didn't happen? Randy Orton and Kevin Owens? Yeah. But what, that was a crazy, that was crazy, crazy that moment. Was good, that was a good fight. I love Bro. how Ke Kevin Owens stunned the referee. And yeah, then yeah. Randy Orton uh, RKO'd uh, Adam Pearce as well, Pierce. the general manager. It was just such a good, something different. Like, uh, yeah. I was happy. Like, I wasn't expecting there not to be a match. So something yeah. like that, unexpected, you know, just fighting um, on the- in Scaffold, the, on the, the scaffold, standing, bro. Yeah, it, jumped, it jumped off the scaffold yeah, into the table. <laughs> and, 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 and I love how they're going with the storyline, how Kevin Owens is a dangerous man now. How Triple H came out last on two weeks, uh, was it last week's SmackDown? Yeah, last week's SmackDown yeah. saying, oh, Kevin Owens is a dangerous man. You just came out of surgery. We just have you back now. And so you don't want to face him. Now that, if they play on a, an, on a, um, a kayfabe story, uh, injury, yeah. where it's like Randy Orton's injured now, like a, a of bit him. of an injury because of this dangerous yeah, new Kevin yeah. Owens. It elevates his storyline. Uh, it does. But like, what happens next in this storyline? Now we've got Cody Rhodes because we know on SmackDown, Cody Rhodes is like, yeah, um, he wants a piece of Kevin Owens, but yeah. Randy Orton was like, in the I'm going to get it done. But now it's not done. Yeah, because and look that, at the belt. on that, because after um, Kevin, Randy Orton goes, there's not going to be any pieces of Kevin yeah. Owens left. Cody goes, um, then I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do, and then Randy looks at the bell and yeah, says, yeah, yeah. "Yeah, um, you'll figure it out." But so I think Randy's saying that he's he's coming. I'm gonna help you figure it out because it's gonna be me. I think in a way, yeah, no, yeah, we know. Gonna, I think yeah, it's like, you know, we know, yeah. we know it's gonna lead to a yeah, world yeah. title. But like this, just throws it out the window. Had they had a match and there would be a definitive winner, yeah, yeah. say Randy Orton beat Kevin Owens, we know what happens next. But now there's no definitive winner Back between Owens Owens and Randy. Yeah. Uh, Does yeah. Cody come in the mix? Is he in the triple threat with? Owens and, uh, and Randy Orton, or yeah, I think that's going to match. Something because Cody right yeah. now, that's his. That, 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 that has to lead up to survivors. Kevin, yeah. Owens yeah. His, yeah. Kevin Owens was his only uh, enemy, so or something happens in the next four weeks with Randy and Cody that there's a bit of conflict, and then there's a triple threat match for the belt. Yeah. It could happen. Why, 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 why would it be for the belt? But uh, uh, so okay, would yeah, you be like a normal? But match? like it just doesn't make sense to me to bring the belt into equation. So I know Randy Orton wants it, but he hasn't really. Kevin Owens doesn't want it. Kevin's Owens, Kevin Owens is just it's angry like at the fact that he got stubbed by Cody yeah. and yeah. Randy Orton. It's, yeah. a, it's a confusing one to You know what I mean? So it's like, it's, I know you mean. That's I why know when it mean. happened, I was watching it, I'm like, I get why they're going with this and I, I love it. But at the same time, like, it's it, confusing. it raised a lot of questions so like, for me. Yeah. Would Cody have a match of Survivor Series? Is he going to be like He's a, got to. Yeah, a, yeah, yeah, a fifth yeah. member at, with the bloodline? Nah, I don't think. Who's going to be in contention for the belt? 
Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like, hard to tell, bro. Like, it, it, it could like it, maybe you could say maybe like I don't know. Kevin Owens has a match and Randy interferes, like something sort of like that. Yeah. It, like you said, Randy could say he's injured yeah. because of Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens focuses on Cody for being. Randy comes in. It, in, um, what's it called? Interferes in the match. So yeah, the, we'll, see what, see what happens, we'll see how it goes, man. So, uh, uh, we didn't mention about something. Did you before we move on? He how we speak in Arabic in the oh, same oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I understood every word. I understood yeah. every word. Like I felt good because usually if it's Gunta in Germany, yeah. you don't understand yeah, anything. Yeah, <laughs> so it was about time we got, we got to understand but, what he was saying. But yeah, but let's talk about the Crown Jewel champions, Liv Morgan and, and Cody, Cody Rhodes. Rhodes. Yeah. Liv Morgan and Nia Jax's match was alright Like it was, it was normal Stand But bro it, yeah. that Cody Rhodes and Gunter match As much as I didn't like the whole concept Around the Crown Jewel Championship yeah, yeah. I feel like as a wrestling match That was a fucking like a, I, I read it full star match Yeah it was, it was good I want to just About Gunther um, Been reading a few comments that People think that he's going to turn um, Babyface soon Because yeah, we've like seen it, yeah. a few um, What's good moments Raw. on even Raw, Raw exactly. Um, Lu, 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 uh, what's like Crown Jewel was the one before that. It's just, he's acting like a, a baby face, like yeah, congratulating yeah. the other one. He was the better um, better wrestler. Better, better man, yeah, yeah. Why must do better himself? But so like, there's something around that. But, but I just love how that match ended. That was the point I was getting it was to. very good. Because <laughs> like the whole thing behind this, um, especially for the men's match, yeah. was champion versus champion. Like one champion is going to look lesser than the other. Yeah. So like the way it finished with the quick, Count where the yeah, uh, I yeah. think it was was it the roll the uh, he, he roll, rolled he rolled yeah, into yeah, a yeah, pin yeah, yeah. so like it was like he got a, he got a quick count so like and it wasn't won. like degrading Gunther in a way so it's just a quick count it's just like he won Anyone he got a quick count like that. that's yeah. it that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying he got the roll up no, no, so like the way it ended I was very worried about the fishing finish if it did end in a very definitive way where say Cody hit the Cody cutter then yeah, gets the pin on him but it didn't happen it was just a quick pin yeah yeah it just shows these champions like. Sort of on the same level. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's yeah, what they they're are. trying to do. They want to make. They don't want to make anyone bigger than the other. But yeah, but I just found it weird how the I think the night before Triple H announces that the Saudi the the Saudi oh, sorry the Crown Jewel Championship is gonna stay in Saudi Arabia. Oh, so like, oh, I, I would have loved to see if Cody Rhodes and Liv brought it, like, like just one brought it over yeah. to the states, yeah. hold it around, you know, use it in storylines where look, yeah. I'm the Crown Jewel yeah, champion. Yeah, yeah. Like well, they, they, they just got to ring. The ring. They just got They're the ring like, as an achievement for like. it to stay in the Saudi Arabia <laughs> like region. I think in that um, what's that rest the the thing they got the um the, the, the museum type WWE place. I forgot regardless of the name, yeah. but they're keeping it there. So like for it to stay there, I feel like it's a waste where they could carry it around and say, "Look, yeah, yeah. I'm the champion yeah. of all like champions." A couple more weeks, but yeah, bro, but uh, it but is what it is there. Uh, but uh, about the live and um, what's going on, oh, Jax? Yeah, Tiffany o almost catch cashed it yeah. in. She's done it so many I, times. She, but she's gonna cash it in on Nia Jax. I think she like, will. Yeah, it's sort of like the Damien where he held it for long, and I think that could be yeah. going down that road. Maybe not because we know Nia Jax is gonna lose it to her. Yeah. A lot so of, I think Survivor Series is when she has the to rest. Lose it. I think it's gonna happen as, as Survivor Series when she catches Personally, it. Personally, uh, Tiffany is she's a very good wrestler. Yeah. And I like a lot of the fans like her. Yeah, a lot yeah, of especially people do. when we're at Perth. Yeah, yeah everyone was going. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Said that. Um, yeah, it's just Saudi. she's a very likable wrestler, and I think she what Samuel said, Survivor Series has to be because the time look, I think that, that that's when the time she has to cash it in because I think after Survivor Series that's when Money in the Bank. Is like coming up soon. Yeah. No, that yeah, Survivor it is. Series. It's yeah, it's in a month away. It's end the end of end this of the month. End of this month. End of this month. End of this month. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying no, because no, money no, in the Survivor bank. They say money, money. Yeah, in I'm the talking bank. about money in the bank after Survivor Series. Not, like, oh, it's not, bro. When's money in the bank? Bro, it's like next June, isn't it? No, it's not. What's wrong with you, bro? She just won it. She just won it. I know she just won it, but Damien Priest cashed it in at Mania. What's wrong with you guys? They only give him a year. Oh, is that what you're oh, saying? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying oh, to say. Oh, yeah, you said the yeah because view. I'm saying about the pay per view after yeah, Survivor a year, Series. Yeah. Because Money in the Bank is that's when, after when Tiffany uh, cashes it in, that's when people are going to step up to get an opportunity for Wait, the Money so in the Bank. Are you saying case. the pay per views after Survivor Series? No, 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 yeah, he's, no. he's yeah. saying the so Money in the Bank no. contract ends at WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, okay. ends at WrestleMania, oh, okay. yeah. Okay, that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. But Money in the Bank. Isn't it a year's contract? It's a year. Yeah, it is. But I'm just saying the pay per view is coming up soon. A year would be. When, 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 when did Money in the Bank happen? June, 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 July. Oh, June. It so like, it'll be past WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't end <laughs> no, at WrestleMania. No, because Damien Priest actually cashed that in. Said, right, yeah. but it in. No, but it ends a year to the date we, that you yeah, got yeah, the Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So the year to the date will be around June. That's correct, yeah. You're confusing yourself here. Let's get on to rule. 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 We're speaking about Damien Priest. Now, Damien Priest wins the fatal four way to be the number one contender for Gunther's belt. Now, 
I look. I actually want to. Dom- he deserves I it. I, I didn't think it needed a f- fatal four way. Yeah. To to make Damien Priest the number one contender, it was nice for the raw we got. Yeah. You know, you, there was speculation maybe Dirty Dom might win, and you know he might be number one contender. Which I don't know how I feel about it. I know you boys probably feel like he should have won, but um, yeah, but him being. You know, the number one contender, I feel like it should have just been announced. I'm happy. I, I don't feel like we needed the match. I'm happy Damien won it. Yeah. Um, he never got his rematch. Did he, he never did. No, no, he did. No, After SummerSlam, it's yeah. It's right that he gets his rematch but with him. I really hope he does win it. Yeah. Because yeah. I was not a fan of him being champion, but I think he really does fit that champion image. Um, it would have been good to see Dom win it. You know, everyone, you know, um, not thinking he has the, be- um, the best chances to win it. Um, Gunter goes, um, there's three good... Um, Athletes in the ring For, and Dom. Yeah, three so they're world, they're yeah. degrading Dom. And I think it would have been a good thing for his storyline to boost himself up. Yeah. Um, and just to have that crack at the, the title. But again, I'm happy that- But on that, that, on that, on Dominic Mysterio winning it, yeah. like the whole point of bringing in the World Heavyweight Championship is to have an intimidating figure, someone that yeah. can elevate that championship to a new level. Now, Dirty Dom, as as over as he is with the crowd and as much as the crowd actually hates him, yeah. and like, you know, you, you see how he raises the mic and everyone's booing him. I don't feel like if Dominic Mysterio was to win the world title anytime soon, that it'd be a great move by the WWE because, like you saw it in that match, he was when Bronson Reed interfered, like he was waiting, uh, like yeah, yeah, you know, he's scouting, scouting, scouting and he wanted to steal the win. So like, I know it's his storyline. I know that's what makes him stand apart. But like him grabbing that title, I feel like would have been the wrong move because he isn't intimidating in the fact that how does he stand up next to a Gunter? Like I know if he had won it and if he had beat Gunter, he would have won the belt off him. But how would he stand against a Damian Priest who has been beating him, beating on him all week? Yeah. You know who no, he the got whole the quick. Month, yeah. How he you know basically stole the win off him last yeah. week. You know, I don't feel like he'd match up great against them, but yeah. But, but don't forget because Liv Morgan will interfere as well. And that's exactly, when Judgment yeah, Day yeah. all I interferes. Feel, um, when Damien does versus uh, Gunther for the belt, yeah. if Damien was to win, I think it's better. It's a better, um, what's it called? It's better, I feel, if he was to win it because I don't think he has, he hasn't finished his business with Finn Balor. I still yeah. think what he did to him that day, they haven't really had, the, I think they've had one one-on-one one on one match. Was that? That uh, was yeah. like Bad Blood. I Bad think. Blood and Damien yeah. won. Bad Blood, Damien yeah. won, yeah. 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 And I feel they just can't let it slide like that. I feel there has yeah. to be, if he was to win it, they have to go for that but, belt. Bro, it's fucking boring. It's done, da- yeah. Damien, Damien Priest as champion, like I didn't want him to win his number one contender. You know who should have won it? Seamus. Oh, bro, yeah, the Sheamus match they put on at match. Clash of the Castle 2022, oh, yes. considered in many people's eyes one of the greatest matches ever. Yeah. I think Dave Meltzer gave it five stars. I don't know if I'm wrong there, but it was critically acclaimed. So I feel like a, a rivalry with Seamus and Gunter is something fresh in the water. Yeah. Damien yeah. Priest- But they've there, had their Hold rivals. on one second. We've been there and done that with Damien yeah. Priest and Gunter, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All right, he got stolen off the win with Finn Balor at SummerSlam. Seamus and Gunther. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I've seen that, bro. I don't care about the judgment yeah. day interfering anymore That's or like yeah, but that, I, things happening but in between. I don't care. I hate. The, I, I'm sick of the, the judgment day and that. Like, yeah, it's, it's just too much. Bro. I just feel too bad. He's, he's still focusing on that. Just, I'm dumb. It's I'm not I'm over. Just... Look, we are still going on with Liv, and I feel if and Damian Priest wants to take the belt of Gunther, Finn Balor's not going to let that slide. Finn Balor's just um, he's going to lose his belt soon, I, I yeah. guess, and yeah. then he's going to be aiming for the world title. Because Finn and JD have been a bit quiet lately these days. Finn yeah. needs that lift up. Um, but yeah, it would have been good to see Sheamus. I think he deserves to have a title shot again. Yeah. Again, it would have been a mad thing to see him in the world title picture again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because he really does suit it and he does deserve it because he's been yeah, working no, he, But it. he's always yeah. had that storyline with Gunter as well. Him and, remember, Drew McIntyre. And yeah, at WrestleMania. At WrestleMania, when yeah. they had the Intercontinental uh, intercontinental. That was a great title. match. But that even, was mad. Even the fact like, and yeah. I raised that, raised that thing about Damian Priest. It's like, it, it worries me because I, CM Punk and Drew McIntyre is out of the picture now. Are they using, if, say... Damien Priest wins the title. Are they going to use Damien Priest as the vehicle until Punk comes back and starts the rivalry again? You know, you know what I mean. So I feel like Raw doesn't have like, uh, um, like an intimidating superstar yeah. like other than Damien Priest or yeah, like I could yeah. even argue like I, I w- I'd would love to see Karrion Cross come into the picture. Yeah, yeah. Karrion Cross will like, be. I, good. I feel like him in the world title picture. Someone yeah, fresh, someone him, new, yeah. someone we haven't seen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, 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 but you know Karrion Cross, bro. When he was in NXT, if you watch NXT back in twenty one and twenty two, bro, he was so fucking yeah. fit, bro. The way how Triple H and Shawn Michaels when they done the storyline yeah. for Karrion Cross, yeah. bro, he was so gone. They they done the storylines with Johnny Gagano, with Damian Priest. Um, who else was there? 
what, what, what's uh, Johnny Gargano's? Champa. It's Tommaso Champa. 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 Bro, that character, that he has that scary thing. Like, he's about, intimidating. He's, he's intimidating. intimidating. And, bro, and the like, AOP as well. Because he, he's the typical world heavyweight champion. Which he does suit the world title. He does suit the world title. A Karrion Cross, yeah. not a Damian Hello, Priest, look, bro. Look, don't get me wrong. Karrion Cross will fit in the world title. You need people like him. You need people like... Um, Bron Breaker. Bron Breaker. Uh, Jacob Fatu one day. Yeah. Fatu, yeah, you know Fatu. what? They're, they're going to build... By different shows. Different different yeah. Show, yeah, but yeah, Jacob Fatu is going to get his moment Mate, with Bron Breaker. Oh, there's bro. not a lot of... There's not... A, Seth Rollins now is with uh, Bronson yeah. Reed. Um, yeah, let's yeah. talk about that, bro. Yeah, like uh, before we when he um, uh, table smashed him on the table. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, was an army, it's an it's an army. obvious that he wasn't finished with her. And yeah. after Crown Jewel, they were talking a bit among themselves and dissing each uh, other. So we knew yeah. it was going to happen. I like again. this rivalry because it's fresh. Like yeah. it's different. It's not something we see always the same rivalries. Yeah. It's something different. We saw their first match, the backstage brawls they've had. They work yeah. well and together. Again, they're building something again. Of course, it's not going to end. You know, one thing. And even yeah. after their Crown Jewel match, Seth goes. Um, come at me anytime. So like, yeah. they're still Look, building it up. Quickly off topic, you mentioned about um, McIntyre and Punk and I, I think they won't be returning to Royal Rumble. I think yeah. we've seen over the years how how poor Royal Rumble has been for the last three years. And yeah. this year, I think it's going to be something special. I think we'll see Drew McIntyre and CM Punk return that day. I think The Rock might return in Royal Rumble. A lot Roman of, yeah. Reigns. Nah, the, I think The Rock faces Cody Royal Rumble. Yeah. But different top. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah I yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. going to uh, happen. I think yeah. Cena's going to return uh, Royal Rumble. So I think right. this Royal Rumble is going to be one that's of the best in the world. Yeah. Uh, personally, that's what I think. Um, also, Jade, um, uh, Ga- um, what's her Jade name? Cargo. Yeah, Jade and Cargo. Bianca Belair. Apparently, they hinted a uh, potentially split soon. Yeah, yeah. after that promo, after that promo the, the yeah. opening yeah. segment, man. Um, Liv Morgan. From Liv, yeah, she's yeah. like, you know, you never know when you're gonna get backstabbed. Yeah, yeah. Or something I, I think like Bianca's gonna. I think she's gonna backstab Do Jade you Cargo. She'll turn who on yeah, because Jade Cargo is gonna be the baby face, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So. Because she's dominant, bro. She's too good. She needs Bian- a singles run, bro. She, she needs, needs a singles she needs run. A she needs to go title. for... She the needs a title. title. She but needs Bianca a, Belair, I can see she's going to go heel for sure. And I I think with them, you know, getting eliminated by the two girls... Yeah. And Jay Cargo helping uh, Bianca Belair to stay in, I think it shows that they're still together, that they're still strong, that those words didn't affect them. Yeah. But eventually, probably down the line, those things... I think they all will start to get into their heads more. Yeah. I think once they lose that t- their title... That's when you're gonna start to see a, a division between the. Do you them think? Two. Do you think she'll they'll lose their title to Raquel and Liv Morgan? Because they hinted I at think, it. I think yeah, so. They they hinted so at like it. Liv loses her title. And no, 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 that she, she can win it. So you, yeah. we should be double champ in well, a way. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe, yeah. It would be something different. Like it's been a while since a, a girl had a, a overall double. title. What and was a, the last yeah. one? Um, a man had a his own title in a tag team. I swear that was like a couple years ago. Someone had it, I'm not sure. I, I think I it was, no, wasn't it Rollins when he won the, uh, the WWE World Was it Shield Days? Shield Days? Rollins and Ambrose, was it? Yeah, yeah, someone Who, had maybe no, it was. No, it wasn't two belts, it was oh. one belt. No, 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 when he won no. the tag and I think he- And he had his own belt. Wasn't oh, it was Roman? It? Roman had the United States and the- No, that was Rollins. 15, Rollins? 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was. I remember that. St- I remember he, that yeah, he had the United States. He, he had the no. He won oh, the Intercontinental. Uni- was no, it? he won the United States and the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins. Yeah, but I'm, two I'm, belts. I'm saying the tag titles. Did he have a tag? Someone had no. I don't know some, some, uh, no, was no, a no. shield, but one of the yeah. members of the shield. But, so um, do you reckon Bianca Belair will turn? I, I think Bianca Belair is gonna. I think her, her chance now to become a heel. I think Jade Cargill stays as a babyface because Triple H wants that to happen. Yeah. Um. But I want to see her to become world champion. She deserves. Yeah, she deserves it. She deserves it because she came from AEW and she was a TBS. Champion. Um, uh, where's Charlotte Flair? Is she coming she's been missing yeah. lately. Even Becky but Lynch. She's done Becky it all too. Yeah. I think there Becky was Lynch. rumors about her returning, but they. I think it's false. I think she they might get an AW because they didn't. Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan did mention that she retired Becky yeah. Lynch. Yeah, yeah, she so did say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. But so. look, uh, off topic as well. Like I want to get into the Raw as well because um about the tag team titles. Yeah. You know how um the War Raiders are confronted to yeah. um Bala and JD. To be honest, bro, I think the War Raiders do deserve it because I want to see them defending the tag team titles against AAP, all those other tag teams. Yeah. And and even the other topic as well about uh, Kofi Kingston and Xavier. Yeah. Did you see Adam Pearce when he spoke with Kobe? Uh, Kofi <laughs> Kingston. I can't, Kobe. Kofi yeah. Kingston. Um, they're saying about they're going to bring up the 10 year um, New Day uh, celebration. Bro, yeah. Something inside of me says Xavier Woods is going to turn on Kofi. 100%. On the 10, oh, the 10 that, year anniversary. Yeah. When, because is when is it? I think next week. Because when uh, Cross and AOP was with Adam Pierce in the background, I don't know if you saw yeah, 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 Kofi yeah, yeah. Kingston yeah, yeah. and Xavier yeah. Woods, they're arguing they're between arguing. each other. <laughs> yeah. I can well, see the clear day. When was that? Uh, today. It was, yeah, uh, today. It was after all. After all. 
When, it was that when Ka- uh, Karen Cross and Adam Pistol were having a talk about um about is that on YouTube so I can watch it later? Yeah, yeah, you'll see, okay, yeah. You'll yeah. see Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods they're behind could, each other. They'll, they'll like because it's a ten year anniversary. Could we see like just Big E? Big yeah, e he'll come. Oh, back. Yeah, I yeah, want yeah, to see Big E return, but I think that's when Xavier uh, Xavier Woods. Uh, backstabs uh, B, Big E and uh, what's that Kofi Kingston and AOP because don't out. forget because 2014 I think it was 2014 that's when Xavier uh, Xavier Woods uh, Xavier Coates what do I say <laughs> what did you say I say Xavier, Xavier Woods. Woods he was the one that um, formed the, yeah, the group yeah, with yeah. Uh, Kofi Kingston and Big E because they have been costing each other ta- tag matches it's, it's been like happening the last few yeah. months and then like now, you, now you see Kofi getting angry yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, before it was Kofi doing all the all the stuff yeah, but now Kofi's getting angry I saw the comment I saw the comment on YouTube that said 2014 to 20, uh, 2024, rest in peace. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it looks it's, like it's gonna happen. happen. Hey, but that segment on Raw, yeah. when, when they were having a their bit of argument, did you uh, see the white six? Yeah, the oh, yeah, with the, the Miz. Miz. Yeah. The Miz yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying like, um, I was talking to uh, one of my cousins about, they, sh- they haven't mentioned about how they were used to the be tag team partners. They called the B team. team back in and the day. And then they mentioned, they yeah, brought it and back And it's up. great. I, I love how they're doing this because like yeah. now we're bringing up years ago storylines. Yeah. Now we're, because the whole the whole uh, issue around that time was um, they were doing a shake up and then yeah, Miz I got drafted that, yeah. back to, well, he went to SmackDown and then he abandoned the B team, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas, yeah. left them hanging and then yeah. he didn't, Miz didn't accomplish what he set out to do, yeah, make exactly. them into superstars, make them out, uh, make their family proud, as uh, they, yeah. the, as they said on that, so he's getting that uh, interview about, thing. And the the video. He's actually getting he interested. About I love the wife. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna make your family proud, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then they they doubled down on the family proud, <laughs> and then so I think that's why he's getting at him because. They didn't make their family yeah, yeah, yeah. proud. Exactly. You know, he and abandoned his family. Yeah, and also the fact he left our But that was- I, I, but I love that storyline with Y6. Bro, is Miz a part of the Y6 now? Because what happened, how they, how they took him out of the chair? Yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you see you the mer- no, mercy? That, that, doesn't it remind you of Daniel how, Bryan when look, he joined uh, the Y6? Yeah, the that's are they going to brainwash him to be part of their team? You be, yeah. Bro, uh, that's what I'm thinking. I can because he said, I'm going to turn you into dust. Something along the lines of turning into dust. Re, maybe restarted, maybe getting out yeah. to because it was a what are they, mercy the buzzard? I think so. Yeah. So what make he took him? He took him out of his chair and he went into dust. So he wants to turn Miz to a good like a like part of them, part of them again. Sort of like to Daniel Bryan. Dominant. What happened to Daniel oh, Bryan? Right. So does that mean he likes him? Like so he, I'm maybe turning maybe the, his only way. Uh, maybe because maybe Miz took him under his wing back then. Now yeah. Bo him, Dallas yeah. is taking under him his under wing. his wing. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's the leader. Now he calls the shots. Yeah, yeah. Now maybe. maybe that's why Miz yeah. is going to be part of their team. Yeah. That's how I'm seeing One question, one well, question. Uh, one you're question. right because why would they show that? <laughs> why would they show that clip? <laughs> one question. Exactly. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's it's what like, I'm saying, yeah. It's like, it's hinting oh, it's, it's at something. But then AOP will be done with Miz because they're not done with him. Who I knows, know, bro? We'll AOP is still with Karrion Cross, oh, but, but I was just gonna say, like you know, like I mentioned about the World Tag Team Titles. I reckon the Y Six, uh, what's the name, uh, the one with the long hair, the War Raiders. No, from the Y Six, they should become the World Tag Team Titles as well. Like, oh, okay, yeah. So they can have championship gold around them, their waist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. No, no, no. I'm no, 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 just no, saying no, because no, no, no. I, I want to see why six become champions, yeah, all of them. They'll get it soon, eventually. When the but they, they need, they need to show up. Until probably next they need year, to show up more, man. They have to. They, they, have to, they yeah. need to wrestle more, man. Yeah, they, they have, have to. to. More, matches, more, man. more matches, Just less vignettes, bro. I like the vignettes. I like the little interruptions. Yeah. But, bro, more wrestling. But I want to see more powerhouses like, you know, Bronson Reed, Bron Breaker. Um, Who else is carrying cross? I want to see all these big boys like stepping up. Yeah. Be short. So last thing before we end it, now Goldberg has announced that his last match will be in 2025, copying John Cena. But anyways, yeah. Yeah. who do you yeah. think is his last opponent? Who's who's next? Be in, I reckon it'll be at WrestleMania, probably. Who? Mania? Gunther. Mania who? I reckon Gunther. Who? <laughs> reckon Gunther. People are saying Gunther. For world title? Well, they fight Bro, if, the, if that's Gunther. the case, he better not take the fucking title off him. Bro, no, 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 of no, no. any no, world world champion. It would be his last match. Yeah, exactly. Now, he, what do you mean? It doesn't, he doesn't have to win his last match. No, you said world title. No, you said it doesn't. You don't want him to no, take no, the well, title. Oh no, yeah, no, he's right. Yeah, if he's that. facing he Gunther, he Gunther has a belt. Yeah. He can lose it. Still. If he wins against Gunther, which previously in previous storylines he's won against younger champions, so if that happens, know, yeah. bro, if he ends ends it on the high and they strip him off the belt, fuck that shit. Yeah, 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 he's, exactly. Bro, he's he's ruined a lot of storylines. I think he uh, did he was it Bray White he took the belt off. That so one that time, or was it Braun Strowman? So I don't know. Who? Who? Let's no, not who? forget Goldberg. Goldberg. We, we could see. Who was it that he took the belt off? Was and it? everyone was going crazy about it. I think it was Bray Wyatt. Where nah, he, it was Braun Strowman. 
Back was in it, 2020. Was it? I, I, think, it was, it was, I think it was Bray Wyatt. No, no, no actually, no. Brock took it off him. Brock took it off him. Brock took it off Braun yeah. Strowman. Do you look, you no, spoke. Brock it. took it off Goldberg. You took, look, they had a fight. But, but who no, did wait, Goldberg wait, wait, wait. What are you trying to off? say? That, who, wait, who had the um, Universal Championship? Was it that a Roman? No, oh, it, wasn't it um, uh, Kevin Owens that won the Universal? I remember top? Kevin Owens. No, it was Kevin Owens. To, to be it was Kevin Owens. It. That's when Goldberg actually, took the title. Football. Let's not forget, Brock Lesnar was going to return to face Gunther for the Intercontinental. Yeah. What about if Brock Lesnar returns in Royal Rumble and he versus him for the World Title? Yeah. Or could we see uh, Brock Lesnar versus Bron Breaker for I don't the belt? That'll be an interesting match. Look, yeah, but let, let's not, let's, let's talk about Goldberg because that's yeah. it's his Goldberg, last, yeah. match. last match. But opponent, I, I don't say know who's going to be. Gunther. It's hard to tell. Uh, don't say anyone else. Will Goldberg him. take it off him if it's his last match? He he could, bro. Well, why not? But if it's, oh, he can retire the belt. But he, but if they want to, if they want him to win on the high, yeah, he can. Yeah. He can get stripped the next night. Yeah, that's what, I'm saying, what about yeah. like? A, but like, if but if that happens, bro, I'm telling what you, it would be bad. If Brock returns, Gunther versus um, not Gunther. Goldberg versus Brock. I wouldn't want to say it again. No, no I don't want to say it. They, they faced that WrestleMania all those years ago. Yeah, yeah. They faced it again at WrestleMania and they faced the Survivor Series. No, no. I wouldn't want to say it again. I want to you see know who I want to see? Yeah. Braun Breaker versus Goldberg. Goldberg. That, Goldberg. Be Braun, Braun Breaker versus Goldberg. Why? Scott Steiner's son. Not only that, they're very good family no, not friends. Scott Steiner's son. Uh, Rick Steiner. Rick, sorry, uh, Rick Steiner's yeah. uh, son. <laughs> And then also, because Rick Steiner is good mates with Goldberg, and not only that, Bronk Breaker does have a Goldberg tattoo. It does. And how amazing would it be a passing of the dream match? Yeah. A passing of the torch moment where the next big thing, the the, the guy who's built like Goldberg, Bronk gets Breaker, over Goldberg, who was the previous yeah. you know big thing in WWE and WCW. That's a passing of the torch moment. If Goldberg is very selfless yeah. and wants to get an opponent over the next big thing, which is Bronk Breaker. I'm telling you, this is the that's the yeah. best move WWE could do. Bron Breaker, man, I love. Bro. I don't even hate him. He's I, so I actually so love Bron Breaker, love him, bro. He's I love so him. Good. That bro, the speed of him. Every time when he goes on the turnbuckles, when he's running and yeah. like back and forth, no one doesn't have that speed like him. There's a lot of dogs, and in that's the podcast. why, like, he's the next big <laughs> thing. So if yeah. Go if Goldberg gets gets him over at a WrestleMania, say, or at a, a big PLA, awful, yeah. bro, that that's I big. That's a great way to end his career. I think I'm telling you. I think, let, I think let the fans put in the comments. Yeah. I reckon Bron Breaker versus Goldberg. Dream I match, think w yeah. the favorite is Gunther and then Bron Breaker. I think no, the no, 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 Bron Breaker over Gunther. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to say Bron Breaker, man. Because I don't, I don't want, Goldberg. and on top of that, I don't want Goldberg to injure Gunther, no, no. bro. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. He's only having one match. Cause one match, uh, you're still not getting That's it. I'm, no, no, I'm saying <laughs> one, one, one last, last match. One last match. Gunter, Gunter then. Hey? Because I had their moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it has to be. Gunter be. Then. But it doesn't saying. have to be, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't think it has but to be. Why would they forget that moment? They could, they could drop it, bro. They can drop it. Because uh, I'm telling you, man, it'd be a bad move. It depends what Gunther is. Like we said, we've seen a few moments of him babyface. So you, you never know what's gonna happen. Bro, to I'm honest. telling you because he's, he's almost injured, well, paralyzed Undertaker. Yeah, yeah it, we don't want that. Yeah, I remember that match at Saudi Arabia. That was the worst match. Was man. it was it Saudi Arabia? Yeah, yeah it was. It was. Yeah. When he um, tried to do the jackhammer, that's when he landed straight down on Undertaker's head. But lucky, bro, he didn't kill himself. Like I'm lucky, saying, man. he would have got concussed. Yeah, but yeah, that, yeah. That's yeah. What, I'm pretty worse. sure I'm still thinking about who did. I think it was Bray Wyatt. It was Bray Wyatt that he defeated for the Universal title back in the, the Fiend. It was, bro. I think it was at a Saudi show. No, it wasn't. It was, bro. bro. Are you sure? Look, just <laughs> oh, no, no, you are right. No, you are right. No, no, no he's hundred percent right. I think that was in twenty eighteen. I think or twenty nineteen. To be exact, yes, it was. Let, look, let, let's switch Put it up. Let's, let's, end it, let's end this. <laughs> On this no, answer. no, you're hundred percent right. I'm being there. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm yeah, right. you are right. I'm right. No, I'm Bron Breaker. 22. I mean, uh, Bray Wyatt Super versus Goldberg. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he did steal yeah. the title yeah, from so him. That, that that caused a lot of issues yeah, with well, the so WWE fans, happy bro. About that. bro I was happy people man. that were losing it. And Goldberg yeah, yeah. won it. Yeah, because he won that title. And everyone booed at him. That's why. Yeah, bro. Well, well, yeah. Anyways, that's a wrap up to Wrestle Talk. Uh, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you guys soon.